Death toll in Pennsylvania chocolate factory explosion climbs to seven. Authorities believe the remains of two people found Sunday correspond to two people believed missing after the blast. The remains of two more victims of the chocolate factory explosion in Pennsylvania were discovered late Sunday, bringing its death toll to seven, authorities in the borough of West Reading said. It's believed the two correspond to two people believed to have gone missing after Friday's blast, West Reading Police Chief Wayne Holbin said at an evening news conference. The find closes search operations at R.M. Palmer Company, as no other people connected to the location were missing. I want to assure you all that we will not rest until every single person affected by this tragedy has been accounted for, Holbin said earlier in the day. We are fully committed to this task, and we will do everything in our power to ensure that we bring closure to all those involved. Identities of the dead were unavailable and officials would not discuss their relationships to the factory. The Berks County Coroner's Office, which will establish identity and cause of death for the victims, did not immediately respond to a request for information. Holbin said officials are using heavy equipment to pull debris away from the site to make sure we are taking as much care as possible for individuals that are still inside, which he characterized as a long process. West Reading Fire Chief Chad Moyer said Saturday night that the chances of finding survivors had decreased rapidly due to the violence of the explosion and the amount of time that has passed, according to NBC Philadelphia. West Reading Mayor Samantha Kagg said Sunday that the White House reached out Saturday to offer its assistance. They've offered condolences, asked us that if we need anything to please reach out, Kagg said. So we are getting calls from numerous sources, and we're grateful for all of them. We're grateful the resources that they're offering. Right now we're just kind of trying to get our feet on the ground and figure out where we can put them and how we can delegate them. Officials also announced Sunday that they had launched a West Reading Disaster Recovery Fund to support the organizations helping families affected by the blast and people who were displaced from their homes or employment. A facility spokesperson said 10 people who survived with injuries were taken to Reading Hospital in the West Reading Borough, an area of Berks County about 63 miles northwest of Philadelphia. Two were transferred to other facilities, two were in good or fair condition at Reading Hospital, and the others were treated or were checked out and released, officials said, according to NBC Philadelphia. The elapsed time has not added to the public's understanding of what happened. Moyer said local and state fire investigators were continuing to probe the cause of the explosion. There were also initial discrepancies about the number of victims, NBC Philadelphia reported. A report Saturday morning from the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency indicated that five people had died and six remained unaccounted for, but at a news conference later that morning, CAG said that information was inaccurate characterizing the situation as a tragic event that we are still gathering information on. CAG said the blast, just before 5 p.m. Friday, leveled the plant. Richard M. Palmer Sr. founded the company in 1948, when he sold a handful of chocolates, including bunnies. R. M. Palmer Company employs 850 people today, according to its website. In a statement, the company expressed anguish, said it has lost close friends and colleagues, and said it was trying to reach out to employees despite email and phone failure after the blast. Everyone at R.M. Palmer is devastated by the tragic events at one of our West Reading facilities and we are focused on supporting our employees and their families, the company said.